Talk about Cam a little bit more. Obviously, and I can speak for these two guys that understand that you got some war within you too. And you got some passion, some fire, and some fight within you too. And I'm excited to see what you bring to the Patriots and, and how you know, you're know you able to kind of bring your personality and bring what you do to the game yeah. under the New England Patriot way. I'm, I'm, I'm completely honest, I'm excited to see it. What was your feelings and your thoughts a, when you got the call, and then B, as you started the process. Yeah, slow sip. As you start the process of thinking, wow, I'm about to be a Patriot. We're being honest. First of, of all, I'm going to say they don't believe in you, Ken. We talked about it. They well, don't believe in you. Uh, that's real talk. But 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 this is this is, this is is me. But I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. It was it, my, my dog, Future. Shout out to Future. He dropped a mixtape called 56 Nights. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite mixtapes. And I was like, bro, like they playing with me and I had to count the days how long I was unemployed. Mm-hmm. It was 86 nights. 86 nights, like it's just like that, that's two to that's three months. Right, well, yeah, almost 90 days. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going through it and I'm like, OK, early on, like people going to get signed that I'm looking at. And I'm like, you can't say I'm old because people older than me getting signed especially at your position hello you know <laughs> then i'm like you can't say it's about injury because people who are injured more injured than me are getting signed so i'm like okay cool like what like what where are we at then you can't say the talent so i'm like hold on okay now i'll be the first person to tell you these last two years i haven't been putting the best film on tape mm-hmm. that's right there, you? that's just honest but at the same time, I'm like, okay, there's other people that's been putting shitty film out there that's getting picked up. And I'm like, whoa. Okay. Not now, even picked now. up. They got the starting job. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like I'm feeling disrespected. Like I'm feeling like, bro, because every team at one point had to say, okay, fellas, Cam Newton. What do we think? Uh pass. You feel me? And that's the disrespect that I feel. So it's not like I'm, 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 I feel vindicated to some degree, mm-hmm. but I'm searching for, I'm like, I'm aiming at, I'm going at next all year because it's like, I, at, at one point I did feel, and I still do feel like a part of me is left because I gave an uh, organization everything. Mm-hmm. What I gave, I don't think other people were willing to give. And it was times where I, sh- I knew I wasn't supposed to be playing. Mm-hmm. But off of the mere fact of Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, you. you know what I'm saying? Like uh, DJ Moore, uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey, D'Angelo Williams, Jonathan Stewart, yeah. you know, Steve Smith. I'm like, bro, I can't give up on them. Like, you know what I'm saying? We play uh, the ultimate team sport in offensive football. That's the ultimate team sport. Because if the guard don't do his job, I can't old do my job. Who, who, who is O? You know what I'm saying? Who is a tie girly if the guard don't, if the center don't snap the ball, if O don't block on the perimeter, how can TG eat? Exactly. That's the ultimate team. We need a collective group of 11 people doing one thing, not one guy trying to do 11 things. So I said all that to say, I'm like, bro, like I, I man, I got a call and my agent hit me. I was, you know, no cap. I was working out and he was like, hey, man, you know, we just got an interest from a team. I'm like, okay, cool, who? And it was like New England. I said, I said, hold on. Like, how's how is me and Belichick gonna mesh? You know what I'm saying? And because that was the first thing I thought. Because it's like perception. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, but I like, think his perception of Belichick is not that. Like, for for me, first of all, I went to LSU. You was at Auburn. I watched you. I watch you do what you do, right? And then you get to the league, and I'm thinking I'm the one dancing, I'm having fun, and then I see you out there and what you brought to the game and to the table. So I understand, like, I feel like now that I've gotten to to link with you this off season, I just have so much more respect, a better understanding, a better appreciation of what you've been through. Cause you know, like like you, you giving everything, shoulder, foot. Everything. I came back three weeks early and broke my shit. Everything. I should not have been playing. Mm-hmm. So for me watching you and now to, to feel that vindication and to be going to Belichick, there is no like, how is it gonna work for me? All he want to do is put you in a place to succeed. Yeah. 
and I'm happy to see it. But yeah. but it also it's like this too. It's like okay, like can we can we not? We have to talk about the elephant in the room, and it's like, you know, you who you you coming after? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, great. Yeah. What he was, what he is, is great. Needs no even talking about it. But one thing about it though, you. <laughs> Coach McDaniels, you were able to, to call some stuff that you ain't never been able to call now. Mm-hmm. All right, you, you know, and I told, hey, you getting a dog? You get, I'm, and you ain't, you ain't, you getting one of these ticked off dogs yeah. too. That's like, bro. Angry. And I'm looking at the schedule. I'm like, who we play? That team passed on me. Okay, that team passed on me. They could have game and got me. They hollered at me. I even asked my agents, like, hey, yo, so what's up with? Nah, man, the agent act like he was like, well, we got to wait to it was just all type of, you know, issues. So I'm like, bro, you know what? I'm going I'm going to take this time with the COVID. I said, I'm going to commit to yeah. myself. You but talk about one thing that affected me a lot, especially obviously going through the injuries that we've all faced at this table is the man.